good, Superstar. Back with another VV video. You got Superstar Joe. You got Superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? Good, you? How you doing today, Joe? Your punches are feeling weak today. Oh, oh, oh the no look, the no look punches. Those are your best ones. That's when you. That's when you get me uh, without without me paying attention. Guys, if you're new here, do not forget. Become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you know whenever we post. We got Grinchy Rob up there telling you to hit the subscribe button. You can also become a superstar VIP. Two nine nine a month. Hit the join button underneath the video. You get a nice star next to your name. Get access to our spreadsheets that do everything related to VV Omi. Um, first dibs on merch. Star in the universe at the end of every single month. And so much more. I mean, we'll advertise for you. We'll, we'll advertise our buys and sells. Um, it's crazy. So definitely make sure you guys join the program if you have an opportunity. Uh, these are all the loving people who have come and supported us. Superman, I'm going to get you on there, I promise. Uh, probably this week. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, if you want to follow us. Description has the best Discord of all time. P.O. Box, if you want to become a Superstar Hall of Famer. And uh, Superstar Money Rob, Superstar Money Joe on VV app. He's got the Luke Skywalker 54 lightsaber listed. I have the skeletons listed for 9999999 It's the punching skeletons if you want to follow us over there. Yeah, I I, uh, I don't know if I've ever said this before on the channel, but I actually have an endless selection of mugs to choose. Yeah. Thanks to my wife. And then I asked her, I said, what do you think would be a great mug to bring on the channel today so everybody can get to know me a little bit better? And she gave me this. There you How go. How funny is that? But it says nice. nice. Oh, this one's nice now. But this one's naughty. This uh -huh, one's uh -huh, naughty. Uh -huh. The little smirk eyeball on the side. I love that. I love that emoji. <laughs> the smirky one. That's it. That's a go-to emoji, guys. All right, let's go to the Twitter. We got VV. Um, one of one got announced today. Um, Dragon Girl. We didn't get that comic. The, the Tarzan comic didn't end up coming. They didn't, they didn't end up fixing that yet. Um, so that's not there yet. They also posted this community update recap thing. Um, if you haven't been able to see it, just click it here. That's very nice. Uh, very nice. Yeah. Well merge account, MCP, crypto pay in, waitlist, well logo drop burns. We talked about all this. So we're not going to get into it. 12 days of VV. So if you didn't watch the video, this is actually a pretty good. Actually, uh, we didn't breakout. talk about the advisory panel, by the way. That okay. they plan on. That's one thing we didn't mention about on last, yesterday's video, which is they plan on reaching out to the community. We already know that we actually know a lot of people who are deep in this community. No one's been reached out to. So I don't know exactly who they're talking about, but they're reaching out to people in the community to see, to use them as pilot projects. So for example, in the VV verse, they're going to go and find a lot of these, like, you know, these vaultaholics that are well known in the community, you know, like Ed, for example, who they shouted out. We know they know yeah. about Ed. They're going to reach out to them and be like, Hey, we're going to give you early access to the, to the VV verse. Go start building. Let us know your thoughts. So they, they said they're going to do this now, you know, with a lot of things in the app going forward. I think this is something that people have wanted for a long time. I think it's a good plan. It's a good option for VV to start doing this, to get some early feedback before they release. So good on them. Yep. Uh, that's cool. I mean, if they reach out to, to people involved in the in the community on a, on a regular basis, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, shout out Ryan and Old Rhubarb. I heard that you guys were part of uh, – Getting this whole thing put together. So really, really cool job. Um, fantastic. I love the music. And uh, the contest seems like it's going to be a fun time. Uh, entries and en entries end tomorrow. So make sure you guys enter so that you have a chance uh, at these giveaways. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you don't try, you don't lose. Now, there is one thing that a lot of people have been complaining about is the fact that you have to basically give full access to your Twitter. Oh, yeah. So some people, what they're doing is they're just not doing that part, which is fine. You can do everything else, but that it's up to you. I notice you if do. you like click the button and then you just push back and you don't actually do it, it still puts plus one on uh, a lot of those options. So you might even be able to do it and uh, not actually do what they're asking you. Exactly. Yep. Our Twitter. Um, not much today. We've been very busy, but uh, again, shout out to v, uh, to Vibes Man. Make sure you guys go check this out. We shouted out yesterday. Um, but he put together a really, really well um, put together video of the Designer Con 2022, uh, interviewing a bunch of people from the community, YouTubers, uh, other people, and uh, just a fun time. He's got great angles, and it's, it's fantastic. So definitely go check that out. Um, yesterday we did a video. I thought it was really good. It didn't perform the best, but it's uh, it's explaining uh, maybe the low listings aren't exactly what they seem. So if you want to check that video out, um, go check yeah. out yesterday's video. Yeah. And Bob Sales. He watched yesterday's video. He said, going to find some of that lawn money, the superstars we're talking about. See you in four hours. Rob found yeah. 100 bucks yesterday. Uh, do the I, juju. I actually DM'd him and sent him the $100. <laughs> I DM'd there you those. go. So there you go. Yeah. He also taught me a new word. 
exactly. if you go, if you click open, if you open that up, click on his thing on with the back and forth. I said it's true. So on Twitter, open what he said. Yeah. And uh, he, I don't know if you have his response there that you could pull up, but it's basically chuffed. It's chuffed. I guess it's an English word. He said, oh. you seem quite chuffed in that. I guess it means you're laughing. You're chuffed a bit. So I actually have to look it up because he made me uh, wonder what it meant. But anyways, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to find it here. You guys want back and forth? No, no, me. it's in the response to that, to the actual tweet itself. But it's all good. We'll move oh, on from that. Okay, I know I can't find it. Yeah, all it's right. all good. Um, no, okay. So let's get into the topic here. I mean, we don't have much to talk about, but the other thing, um, I guess, the topic of the video here is: Is Vivi or Comey on enough exchanges? I mean, we've we've heard the question asked a bunch, and we've heard it kind of sidestepped, and uh, the the bear market's been blamed a lot. But uh, this this was all before. The collapse of FTX. Now we've seen FTX, which was the second biggest, I think, or, or up there. It was up there as one of the biggest exchanges. Yeah, uh, go down in flames uh, pretty easily. I mean, I think that's something that worries me when it comes to some of these smaller exchanges who might not have as much, um, I guess, eyes on them, uh, where they might do things a little bit less by the book or less regulated than some of the bigger exchanges. So like if one of the big exchanges can get knocked down, what's to stop one of these smaller exchanges from getting knocked down? So let's pull up yeah. uh, my screen here. Yeah. And yeah. as you pull it up, George, I just want to mention one thing, shout out boundary. O, who, who is yeah. we, in our discord, if you haven't been part of our discord, we're very active in our discord. So feel free to join it. This is an opportunity for you to actually, you can go and put, we have, a, we have a section for AMA questions that you can put down ideas, which we read and we filter and we put in the ones we like. Um, obviously you want to put a wall in, but there's only so much time, but boundary is the one who's, who's talking a lot about security, right? He's yeah. talking a little security exchanges. How can we trust that VV will be secure in the future, especially as this app grows and there's millions and millions more users, how are they going to ensure the security of the app and exchanges is all part of that topic as well because of FTX and they're only on a limited number. Sorry. Yeah, ahead, that discord also has video ideas. If you, if you don't want to ask questions, but you have other ideas, you'd like to see topics about, I know we get added on Twitter all the time. Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we, we lose it. We can't find it. If you go on the discord, you leave something in there. It's there forever. We'll find it. Right. So um, that's another way you can do it. This is the, to the Omi portal. Um, shout out put in cheeks, shout out Reese, uh, for all the hard work they've put together here. But, uh, this basically says, where can I buy Omi? And there's three different options here, but centralized exchanges is basically where a lot of people have been buying. Um, and these are the exchanges that we have right now. Ascendex, yeah. OKX, um, OKX, I guess, yeah. Biforex, BitMart, yeah. Gate.io, yeah. Gate.io, Bitco, Ireland, yeah. Bit2Me and CryptoMat with a yeah. K. Like uh, I I've never had a strong background to know all these different crypto exchanges like i probably would have heard of none of these if it wasn't for uh if it wasn't for omi but yeah. bitfrex like i think maybe i've heard it here and there but it doesn't seem for me like these are any things that are like very you know attractive that i'm going to want to use I'll, I'll, i'm just using bitfrex right now i'll be yeah i mean I, that's my exact take on it it's that i i, I wouldn't even know of probably seven of eight here um if it wasn't for omi and looking up how to buy omi uh, to me, that's a little scary. I mean, I would like to see the token at least be on something that is um, not being headed. I don't know. I don't know. I guess these other ones aren't being headed by by the token. But I guess most people who are buying OMI have to go to these these uh, these exchanges rather than going to this exchange to buy. Say say I want to buy Bitcoin. Okay, I'm going to go to Ascendex. I'm going to buy Bitcoin there. I mean, and we've seen what happened with Ascendex. They had some staking stuff, and then they started cutting down the the rewards i think they were doing like some kind of dividend or something if you stake a certain amount of omi and uh it was like two weeks later it was like cut down cut down cut down um and i guess that was always part of the plan but i mean there's just it's just not i don't get the security like boundary was talking about uh when we talk about these exchanges i mean some of them their logos are even like superstar money has a better logo than a lot of these <laughs> these exchanges but for if these were to go down if these were to get taken down if something was to happen i would not be shocked you know what i mean it's not it's not, uh, they don't have as many eyeballs on them as say your Coinbase or your Binance or uh, the larger exchanges. So I, why not? I know I understand we're in a bear market, but why not get us into the hands of some of these more secure um, exchanges? I don't know. What do you think, Rob? Well, like this is the thing. Security is one thing and then it can link back. And we we don't 
we have personally not had enough experience with these exchanges to understand fully the, the pros and cons of each one. But we saw already in the crypto space right now, everybody's on their toes because of what happened. Such a major, major failure has happened in the crypto space. So that's one thing is the security, but it's just a straight up eyes. Like, like, I don't know, like for me personally, you know, the whole idea of EV part of its success is that it's find a, it's found a way through an app to just get to the masses, right? Why not apply that same thing to Omi? I know Reese has talked about this before. Maybe it's a liquidity thing, but really Omi, if it's going to be what it needs to be, there's no reason why in a bear market, you can't also link the token to some bigger exchanges so that more and more people can say, oh, what's Omi? How's it used? And do some yeah. more research. And and even for the people who are here right now, just give them an easy way. There was more than a number of times where I probably would have bought Omi right now if it was easy to do so. But it's always such a pain. I got to go through a Canadian exchange and buy Ethereum. Got to transfer the Ethereum over to Bitfrex. Then the money's just gone for like four, <laughs> like for four hours. For four hours, I have to go through the stress of just not seeing seeing zero in one wallet and the other wallet not getting anything because it's always a slow process for them to transfer it over. Then I finally get it. I got to switch it over USDT or C. I can't remember which one. Then I got to buy Omi. Like, like, I, like, like it's just too much. Like, I want to be able just to streamline this. Yeah. And find an easy way to do it. Now, there's a couple other options we'll go into right now. But if they just have some big exchanges or more exchanges in general that give us access to OMI, I think it helps make the token more secure. And that's a good question for Reese. You would think that the more you spread the token out on more exchanges, if and you have more redundancy, right? You have, you have yeah. more, more redundancy of the ability for people to get access to the token. If anything goes wrong on one exchange, you have more exchanges to back it up. I don't know. But maybe... That's a simple, that's an oversimplification and maybe spreading it over more tokens is at the opposite. We'll ask them. We'll find out. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what I think about the central idea. You guys think, I'm sure you guys know maybe more of the reasoning why it's not a good idea to go in a bear market. But like Rob said, there's 10, 12 steps just to buy it when you're from Canada. Then you actually get it in your Bitforex or wherever you have it. And now it's not even like it used to be where you can just send it straight to your VV wallet. Now you're still on layer one. You got to bridge it to layer two. You need to make sure you have the gas to do that. Um, and that's another like 18 step process. So you're like doing 30 steps to get Omi in your VV wallet if you want it there. Um, yeah. I understand that maybe they maybe their goal is to the just have it be purchased on on VV on the app, um, and that could be something that we see because we're expecting the whole OUP to be rolled out this year, right? Um, the point. Within within 12 months. But still, like I still think you're right. I think the advertising of the token will also come from being available on other exchanges that regardless if you're in a bear market or not you got to think about it like this when you're in that bear market people are at, at, at some point are going to start looking for um things to put their money into once uh the mark that's how the the whole thing will turn right the whole thing's going to turn and then people are going to start thinking about like hey where can i invest what's good value and if they don't see it if the option isn't even there for them to research uh you know what i mean you're, you're limiting yourself from being exposed to all of this extra I, I think you need to be in there before the bull market is what I'm saying. So I, I agree. I think before yeah. the bull market is the time to do it. But you brought up another good point that I never really thought of before, which is that is it possible it's just part of their plan to keep it off exchanges so they can keep all of it through in-app purchasing or all of it through web app purchasing. So they nice. they are the exchange. They become the exchange. And therefore, all these fees that people lose in the, on, the, on the back end of, through the exchanges and then transferring over – they don't have to go through that and then maybe they pay they have a fee within their own app i don't know what do you think I, I don't think so i think you keep the utility on the app but i think you make access to the coin as much as possible because um you got to think about it. they also have other games they got epical regal you got fish now you got you've got other things using this token um so i think i think that it makes sense to allow access to it as many ways as possible um if you want keep the utility within uh, this way, if they want to use that token, they got to come play with it over here. But um, I, I think allowing people to find it and get it as many places as possible yeah. uh, just shows more eyes to the project. And I think that's what we want. So these are the centralized and, exchanges. And easy access to layer two. Easy oh, access. Oh, please. Please. Like, <laughs> I think that's going to be the directly buying from. Maybe that's maybe that's how you 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 keep it within. You say, if you want it on layer two, you got to come buy it through Vivi or else you got to do this. 20 step thing that nobody wants to do so yeah uh, supposedly though some people have done it it's not terrible like you, you can you, if you follow the youtube video step by step you'll get you'll get yeah. through it it's just a process but, but it's a process it's a process yeah so that's your that's your centralized then you got decentralized which is your uniswap um i'm not too familiar with this all i know is like in speaking with reese at decon and stuff like that um uniswap is like a lot more gas fees 
a little bit more expensive. It's easy to do. Like once you have it in your wallet, you just flip it. You do a swap, but I guess you got to like do slippage and guess the link. I don't know. It's 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 a whole thing. You got to guess like your gas fees or something like that. And uh, we saw one video, one video uh, Chris Coffee did, and it was like uh, he was trying to, to to swap ten bucks worth of ETH into Omi, and it was like sixty seven dollars in gas. Well, fees. that's that's actually the MetaMask way, but I I just yeah. googled it right now. I just did a general Uni swap gas yep. fee and it's like up upwards at like 42 dollars wow. so like you know if you just want to transfer 50 bucks it's like you know it, you, you got to basically do it when you have a large sums that make you maybe make the gas worth it i i mean I, I would think it would be a percentage but it could also be a flat rate as well so anyways yeah. that's just something to keep in mind it's a decentralized exchange i personally don't want to do it this way yeah the only way i've ever bought it is through exchanges in which our gas fees were very minimal so I would I wouldn't mind sticking with that, or an even better way would be maybe again through the app where the the gas fees are almost non-existent. But we'll see. Yeah. So no, that's uh, that's it. And then uh, they got one more thing here. It's token swap. So I think that's still similar to Uniswap. This is the one. Yeah. This, this is, is Uniswap. This, this is the one that through your, and a lot of people were talking about this. That for them it was a game changer. That through their MetaMask they were able to um, to really. Uh, uh, like change it quickly, very, yeah. very quickly. They were able to change it. So I think for convenience, the MetaMask way is by far the easiest. You hit the swap button, you take any tokens you have in there right now and you can just swap them out. But then that's the one where when Chris coffee did, it was like $62 to move 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. So it was, it was $64 to move 10 bucks is like yeah. way, way too much. So it's not worth it. I mean, the moral of the story is even though it's a bear market, this would be the time to prep. This would be the time to start getting it. I think, I think we got to ask them that there may be a liquidity issue with going too many places, but I could be wrong because I don't know if they need to have a certain reserve. I don't know. I don't know. I just think if you got, if you got the token spread out a little bit more places, if one of them takes a hit, uh, it's not as drastic on the entire project. If you got like, let's be, let's be honest. Most people I know use Bifurex. Um, I've heard a couple of people storing on Ascendex or whatever, but people like to keep the stuff in their wallet as well. Right. Or on the VV app. But I mean, if if one of these exchanges like Bifurex is a big is a big if one of the bigger exchanges on the that Omi uses if they go down that's big problems that's big yeah. problems for this app. Well, let's add, we're, we want to know your thoughts first of all. Help us prep for the AMA. We're going to ask Reese about this. We want to know more about the exchanges. We want to know more about the reason why he said before. What am I? What's the benefit of, of doing it in a bear market? But what's the disbenefit? Right? Like what is what is the disbenefit? Because the bear market's not going to last forever. There will be a yeah. pivot. And a bull market will come back and it, you would think you want to be ready and prepared. And at that point, your eggs are already everywhere. So then that way you're not scrambling to add in that moment. So we're just curious. Let, help us prepare. Maybe some of you are a little bit more knowledgeable on this specific topic. Let us know below your thoughts. Do you think Vivi should have, should be, on, uh, or, or o, Ecomi should put Omi on more exchanges? Do you know what are the barriers of preventing them from putting on more exchanges? Is it liquidity? Like what What is it? Help us understand. Um, are you and, worried? Are you worried? Are you worried from a security perspective? Yeah. Like maybe all, all our Omi right now is in the VV app. You know, should are you worried that maybe that their the company might as it continues to grow might be a target of some kind of phishing or or something internally? Uh, do you have concerns about security leaving your Omi on exchanges or within the Omi app? So let us know your thoughts below. And if you haven't already, don't forget become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button. Join the superstar fam and hit the bell notification button so you get every single video every single day. 365. Here we come. We're almost there. Also, superstar VIP 299 a month. You get the star beside your name. Get a chance to have your name in the universe by having a star through starnaming.com. Uh, in the uh, have your name, whatever you want, in the universe and join the superstar constellation. Uh, also, you get first dibs on merch, you get access to our buys and sells, you get ability to advertise through our channel will help advertise sales for you um you get our spreadsheets our drop spreadsheet our market cap analysis spreadsheet as well as our floor sweeping spreadsheet guys thank you all so much we appreciate you thank you for all your support to all the superstars take care and we will see you on the next one bye-bye love you bye